So the question is, what stops us? What stops us from really sensing beings in our daily life and those that we don't know from being more real and from mattering to us? There are three main ways that we get blocked. One of those ways is just the habit of self-centered attention, that we just don't pay attention. Our ways of entertaining ourselves or moving through the world don't take as others as being real. And in Buddhism, they're called neutral people. It's not like we're angry or down on them, and it's not like we're attracted to them. They just don't matter. We just zone out with neutral people very often. And it can happen in nature, that we're so in our virtual reality that the trees and the squirrels and the life around us is just a backdrop. It's like a two-dimensional backdrop to a moi. And if you decided to deepen your attention to the neutral people, you would find your heart becomes profoundly more sensitive. So the way that we deepen attention, how to break through that, that block of kind of a trance with neutral people that we're not in the habit of paying attention to. First of all, to have that aspiration at the beginning of each day, that you're going to move through the day and try to see each person and know that each person's an opportunity to wake up and sense realness. And I find the mantra, we are friends, as being a really powerful way to cut through the trance. Today I went to Safeway to do some shopping and there's a woman that's, oh, that is always there at the express counter. And what got, it, got her more in my heart was, as I was waiting in line, I would just look at her from a distance and say, we are friends, we are friends. And it was like, the, it's the truth we are friends in a deep way. There's a benevolence. But it brought that truth into living reality. So you might close your eyes for a moment, just practice for a second, exploring this. You might imagine tomorrow, someone that you might see in some setting, tomorrow, Thursday, this busy, stressed time of year, everything's speeding up, but just imagine someone who might fit in that category that you don't know so well. And just imagine the reflection and sense the reflection and what happens when you just say, we are friends. And the truth is, just like me, this person wants to love and be loved. Just like me, this person doesn't want to suffer. You might imagine a few of the people that are sitting close to you here this evening or if you're live streaming that are in your home or that you might be seeing later. If you're listening on the podcast, somebody who's nearby you right now, bring them to mind. We are friends. And notice what happens to your heart. This simple reflection is sometimes described as a form of stealth metta, metta's loving-kindness. It's kind of a secret way of reconnecting with others that opens our heart. <laughs> 